In this video cheat sheet, I'll be configuring the IPv6 router process for BGP. I will start off with the baseline show command, show IPv6 protocols, to display general information about IPv6 protocols running on the router. Then I'm going to enable a debug command, debug BGP all events, to see how things unfold as I configure the IPv6 router process for BGP. Finish with the same baseline command, show IPv6 protocols, and show running config to see what changed. Let's look at the network topology. I will be configuring the IPv6 router process for BGP on router 1. Previously, I have enabled IPv6 unicast routing and enabled IPv6 on interface Fast Ethernet 00. Also, I have configured a loopback interface and assigned it with an IPv4 address. Multi-protocol BGP for the IPv6 multicast address family feature provides multicast BGP extensions for IPv6 and supports the same features and functionality as IPv4 BGP. IPv6 enhancements to multicast BGP include support for an IPv6 multicast address family and network layer reachability or NLRI and next hop or the next router in the path to the destination that use IPv6 addresses. I will enter my show command show IPv6 protocols to see IPv6 protocols running on router 1. BGP uses a router ID to identify BGP speaking peers. The BGP router ID is a 32-bit value that is often represented by an IPv4 address. By default, the Cisco iOS software sets the router ID to the IPv4 address of a loopback interface on the router. If no loopback interface is configured on the router, then the software chooses the highest IPv4 address configured to a physical interface on the router to represent the BGP router ID. When configuring BGP on a router that is enabled only for IPv6, you must manually configure the BGP router ID for the router. The BGP router ID, which is represented as a 32-bit value using an IPv4 address syntax, must be unique to the BGP peers of the router. From the output of the show command, IPv6 protocol is connected and static on router 1. Now I am enabling debugging on router 1 utilizing command debug BGP all events. To set the IP version 4 or IPv4 unicast address family as default for BGP peer session establishment, use the BGP default IPv4 unicast command in router configuration mode. To disable the default IPv4 unicast address family for peering session establishment, use the no form of this command. IPv4 address family routing information is advertised by default for each BGP routing session configured with the neighbor remote AS command unless you first configure the no BGP default IPv4 unicast command before configuring the neighbor remote AS command. I will configure IPv6 routing process for BGP utilizing command router BGP1 on global configuration mode and no BGP default IPv4 unicast to enable BGP for IPv6. From the debug output, I can see BGP processes coming up, and after utilizing command no BGP default IPv4 unicast, I see BGP switching to version 2 scan. I am utilizing command show IPv6 protocols to check IPv6 routing protocols on router 1. 
from the output, I see that there is an IPv6 BGP process running on router 1. I'm going to utilize command show running config to check the configuration. From the output of the show command, I can see my BGP configurations. In this video cheat sheet, I configured the IPv6 router process for BGP. I started off with the baseline show command, show IPv6 protocols, to display general information about IPv6 protocols running on the router. Then I enabled a debug command, debug BGP all events, to see how things unfolded as I configured the IPv6 router process for BGP. Finish with the same baseline command, show IPv6 protocols, and show running config to see what changed.